How can we know that God is speaking to us? How can we know that a voice we are hearing or a leading we have is actually a leading from God himself? Or, for example, how do we know that it's not simply that we ate too much cheese the night before? I've been in the church a long time. I've been a Christian about 32, 33 years. And I've definitely seen people who are following the voice and the leading of God. And I've definitely seen people who were simply deceiving themselves or worse, were being deceived. And that's what Paul says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6. He says, let no one deceive you with empty words. Let no one take you captive with their empty words. Let no one take you along the wrong way. Don't be partners with them. Don't listen to them. Don't go back to the darkness. So how can you tell if somebody is doing that? How can you tell that a word or a leading or something you see is truly from God or not? One of the ways that I've thought about this over many long years of being a Christian and also many long years leading a a Christian organisation. You could spell discernment in some ways time. I've, I've got this feeling that if you look at the life of somebody over time, it is incredibly hard for them to hide their true selves. You actually see who they are. Now, of course, people are not perfect and people make mistakes and people get things wrong. But over time, you see the fruit of somebody's life. You see what their life produces. Do their words produce life or do their words produce captivity? Do their actions produce life or do their actions produce captivity? Are they empty words? So I'm guessing what I'm saying is that the next time you hear a word or the next time you hear this theory or you hear, I mean, very topical at the moment, this conspiracy theory or you hear this view on a particular subject and you want to know whether it's from God or not. Have a look at the fruit of the people who are saying it. Have a look at their life. It's no coincidence in the verses before our passage in Ephesians, just right before it is talking about conduct. It is talking about people's character. It is talking about who they are. A lot of discernment is, yes, leading of the Spirit, but a lot of it is also just looking at the fruit, the plain fruit for all to see. That is something that we can all do.